But now I want to take you to something else which is quite interesting. What happens to aircraft after they've done a lot of heavy duty, 20, 30 years, and you know, there's other newer aircraft which are coming onto the market. We don't just throw them down into a pit or something like that. No, we can actually reuse many of the thousands and thousands of parts that are on these aircraft. But if you don't believe me, here's the guy who can tell you more about it. Hi, Lionel. Hi, Chris. Good to see you. So you're with Tarmac, which is also known for stocking airplanes, which we saw recently, of course, with the pandemic. Absolutely. But a crucial thing is you can recycle the aircraft now to a huge percentage now. Well, the, the extent that we go is up to 90%. Uh, we, we can say up to 98% in some cases, depending on the aircraft. So our work is really to make sure that uh, uh, the, the footprint of the aircraft, once we recycle it, is as low as possible at the at this end of life, and to make sure that all the parts that we are taking off the aircraft are taken properly, meaning that a good third of what we're taking out of the aircraft as uh, parting out is going back to the market as used serviceable material, meaning it continues to have an aviation life. And then the rest of it will be either recycled or recovered uh, through energy so it could be good so uh, an aircraft park could be used for something else down the road absolutely so you've got two cases either it stays an aircraft part per se so we'll go on another aircraft and this is a way to remove the part and to, to continue his life uh, aviation life let's say uh, aeronautical life the other way is maybe upcycling so maybe a, a part today can become decorative and the last way of course is to go back to the raw material so maybe aluminium or titanium that we will remove from the aircraft will be transformed in another metallic uh, equipment like a toaster who knows of course one crucial thing is that all these parts you have to have traceability because you don't want them just to be floating around the globe being handed over to anyone right they have you have to know you've got to track all these thousands and tens of thousands of parts right well the, the key challenge for us is to make sure that this third of part that has, is continuing to have an aviation life is perfectly traced and tracked so we're working strongly also with the oem to have the perfect identification of the parts and to make sure that the history of the part continues after the life of the aircraft so if we talk about the engines or avionics or uh, auxiliary power unit of course all those parts we need to make sure that the, when they are delivered to the next client they keep their visibility and they keep their worthiness so meaning that they can continue their life after the aircraft so you say up to 90%, what's the 10% you still have to find a way of dealing with? So depending on the aircraft, the 10% is composed of some parts that we have to say energy recover, meaning that some composite material, for example, we're not able today to recycle them properly. Uh, so what we do is that we, we will give that to recovery channels that will transform that into heat and they will burn it uh, into, into heat like a cemetery, uh, for example, a cemetery. Uh, the other 2% of that will be final waste. And those final waste can be like oil or kerosene or some, some uh, dangerous, dangerous uh, uh, waste from the aircraft that, we, that we're going to have and that we are we have to make sure that this this is managed properly so our work also at Tomac is to make sure that what is final waste is perfectly managed and handled Lionel brilliant thanks very much many of our viewers won't have known that but now they've learned a lot okay appreciate thank you, it thank, thank you, you.